Hi, I'm Officer Miller, and this is the MPH Industries Incorporated B3. This radar is a multi-function radar. It has stationary mode, moving opposite direction mode, and moving same direction mode. It also has automatic same direction, direction sensing technology, where it can sense which direction the target is moving. The components we have, we have two antennas, one antenna in the front, one antenna in the back. We have one remote, and then we connect all these to the counter box with the ABC methods. Antenna to box the current. On the back of the counter box, there are several ports back there. You've got two antenna ports, the serial data cable port, the remote port and the power port. On the front of the counter box, you have the faceplate, um, which can be removed like it is in this case. And uh, you'll have a serial data cable on the front that will connect to the control head. Let's go ahead and power it up, show you what the startup sequence is going to look like. First, it starts out with a light test where it shows 8 at 8 in each window. All lights and indicators light up, followed by the software display. Then the internal circuitry test where it says 32, 32 pass. That's going to do the antenna check where it says A3 in the front, A3 in the rear, and then back to standby. All right, now we're going to put it into our test. We want to make sure it's in moving opposite direction. This means you're transmitting. So I'll put it back in standby and then we'll hit test. So it's going to do the light test again, display the software again, and then do another internal circuitry test, and then go into turning port mode. First switch to stationary, transmit on the front, and then strike either tuning fork, switch to rear, and I'll strike the same tuning fork. Now the readout should be plus or minus one for the stamp value of the tuning fork. Switch to move in opposite direction, transmit on the front, strike low high, then switch to same direction, and strike high low. All right, now the radar is set up for use. Um, let's talk about the buttons. The lock button simply locks and unlocks the radar. The fastest button is not used in North Carolina, so it uh, it's, doesn't have any function right now. All it does is beep. Uh, the front button transmits on the front. Rear button transmits on the rear. Standby, it just simply puts it in standby. The opposite or same direction make the reception either opposite or same direction. Same thing for stationary, opposite, same, same direction. The move stationary button switches between move and stationary. Stopwatch feature is not used. The test button does a manual test. If you hit second function test, it'll put it into tuning fork mode. Second function test takes it out of tuning fork mode. Pat block simply blocks out the patrol window. If you have a uh, locked in target, it will uh, block that out. So if you hit the pad block button, it blocks it out. The low high button, second function low, low high, you can toggle between city and highway. All right, pop button turns off pop, plus turns on pop. And all it does is it just transmits for a second. You might use pop if you wanted to try and hide from radar detectors. So that's what you'd see. Something like that. If you had it in stationary, you turn on pop. Menu button toggles through your menu. You have audio, squelch on squelch, range, and pop, you can turn pop on and off from there. Um, for each, each menu, you can hit the plus and minus button to lower or increase. This will go all the way up to six and down to zero, but we can't use it on zero, so not North Carolina. Squelch is simply uh, squelch on and off. Range it goes from seven is the highest down to one. 
is the lowest. And then the backlight button simply turns on the backlight for the remote. If you hit second function menu, it'll bring up the car menu and then you can um, adjust which which car you have. If you want to plug in the car to the radar, it'll actually provide the patrol speed for the radar. On the front of the faceplate here, we've got the power button, target window, target lock, window, patrol window, and then the mode window. Uh, this is the infrared sensor for our wireless remote, and then this is the ambient light sensor. Brightens and dims display. And then right here you have the speaker. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask one of your instructors. Thanks.